Hey guys, how you doing? Sasha Chapman here, Chapman Elder Group, and I got my newest agent here on the team. This is Priscilla Ibarra. All right, she just joined the team here with Chapman Elder Group. We're going to talk about her real estate journey and why you should work with Priscilla, and maybe get some tips from her as a brand new agent. Let's go. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. So Priscilla, you decided to come over to Chapman Realty Group, right? Yes. You're a brand new agent here with the EXP. Let's talk about that first, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what made you decide to come to EXP? Well, as a brand new agent, I've had my license since October. So as a brand, brand new agent, this yeah. was the brokerage I decided because I saw the vision with EXP ultimately. Uh, there is absolutely no other brokerage that's doing it like EXP. So the vision, obviously I'm in real estate because I'm money motivated. <laughs> yeah. And there's just so many things and so many opportunities with EXP and so many different things that you can do. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, why did you want to come over to Chad Realty Group? <laughs> I mean, what made, because you were doing as an independent individual was, agent, yes. right? Yes. And, and then to, to, to share the context, um, backstory, backstory. We met through CP, Chauncey Fan. Yes. Right? Yeah. We both know CP. I think we was at her kid's birthday party or something like that. Yeah, we had a dinner. Was it dinner? Yeah, it was a dinner. It was just a dinner? Okay. It was just a dinner. All right, CP, it was a dinner. We like to eat. <laughs> right. And so that's how we met. And we stayed in contact because you wasn't an agent at that time. And you was working on it. I was working on it. I was right? currently taking my courses at that time. Right, right, yeah. right. Okay, cool. Cool. Now, let's fast forward. That's how we met Backstory, guys. Yes. So... What made you decide that you want to come over to Chapman Realty Group? So, you know, as a brand new agent, um, I found value in being on the team. And I've already met you at that point. We talked a little bit about how you run your business, how, what you do. So, uh, you are a marketing genius. Let's put it out there. I'm I'll not trying it. to blow his head up, guys, but he I'll is. He's, he, he's good at what he does. You know, let's, let's, let's do that. And it's a lot of value being on a team. I wanted to... Um, get right into it and kind of, um, I felt like I could learn a lot from being on your team and that's why I'm here yeah. ultimately. And, ooh, okay. So here's the deal, let's, let's talk okay. about it. You have now been on the team for roughly about three weeks now. Three weeks, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. How has it been so far? It's been great. I mean, I have been putting in offers. You're right, I'm currently working with about six buyers at the moment. Um, Six. Yeah, I'm currently working with six buyers at the moment. I've learned a lot within these three weeks that I've been on your team, and it's been awesome. I think I've made a great decision. I think it's a good decision for both of us. Keep it real, because here's the deal: I, I don't speak Spanish. Right? I'm gonna keep it real. I don't. <laughs> Wish I would have learned. It is what it is. But you do. I do. You do. Yes. And I, I don't know if it was day one or maybe day two. It was I was day out, two. Day it was two? day two. It was day okay. two. It was day two. <laughs> well, you, I was out showing a buyer a home. And um, this couple walks up on me and just starts talking to me. He wants to see the house too. So let me just explain. Sometimes, guys, when you're in the middle of the work and just doing the work in real estate, business just falls in your lap. It happens to me all the time. And so he, he starts talking to me. He's like, do you speak Spanish? I'm like, I don't. But I have somebody for you. Are oh, you a translator? Ah, uh, tú eres el traductor. No, tú eres el traductor. No, you are the translator. And I just called Priscilla, gave the phone over. They started talking for like 20 minutes. Yeah. I'm just standing there like, what they talking about? He even offered me dinner <laughs> during that conversation. Yeah. And uh, you took it from there. And that is a buyer sale that you're working right now. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Currently, you know, market's moving. So putting in offers in our home and hopefully we can get an offer accepted pretty soon. So. Right. Okay. So here's a couple things. Uh, which I'm very happy that you're doing it. And Priscilla's doing an excellent job, let me just say that, right? You know, I know she's a brand new agent, but she's learning this stuff really, really well. And she's doing extremely well. Very, very helpful with all of our clients and just gets out there and gets it done. Now, technology, technology. I'm a tech head, I'm a very techy agent. How, seriously, how is that working out for you right now? Because sometimes it can be intimidating. It can, I mean, but your systems are very, to be honest, they're pretty easy to use. You know, it's just learning the basics, really, learning yeah. what to do with them. But other than that, I mean, they're pretty easy to use. 
I think it's very interesting on how you have everything set up. Okay. Yeah. Here's a question then. What is the, what you've been, since you've been in real estate, what are the things that make you uncomfortable? Oh, wow. So since I've been in real estate, I always thought I was good on video until I started doing video. <laughs> I think you're good on video. I think. Until I started doing video, I feel a little uncomfortable, self-conscious, you know, but it's something that I'll, I'll learn eventually. Um, so that's definitely one thing that has made me uncomfortable. And I see, I am kind of a, I've always felt to be kind of like a perfectionist in a way. Mm -hmm. Like I want everything to be perfect. And that's another yeah. thing that makes me really uncomfortable in real estate at times because you have to realize that ain't, there's nothing going to be perfect. There's nothing's no. going to be perfect in real no. estate and you learn as you go. So that's something that I'm, that I'm kind of learning how to go with the flow and just learn as I go. Yeah. I, you know, a lot of new agents have that issue where it's like Rogers block. They won't take action. They won't do anything until they know how to do everything. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to tell it's you. It's impossible guys. Yeah, one of my best mentees, you know, uh, that I've ever had, I gotta say Vaughn Williams, he's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But here's the deal. People who, she's this way. She's one of these folks who just kind of takes the steps mm -hmm. and gets herself in a position like, oh, okay, what should I do? You get stuck. Right, and then ask the question. Mm -hmm. And what I've noticed is when I, as mentoring her, before she joined the team, I said, okay, wow, she's taking steps before she just do things. Well, I had others who would be, oh my goodness, I can't take a step until I know how to do A through Z. It's, and I just wanted to get them to do A, B, and C. Yes. You are just like that. You and Vaughn are very similar from that perspective because you just start doing something and then you call Sasha. What do I do next? I'm like, <laughs> breathe and let's do X, Y, and Z. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, trust me, I doing this early, you know, early on the moment I started, I was like, yeah, that's not going to work. I, I'm that's not going to learn anything. Like I'm not gonna learn everything, and it's just gonna be impossible. I just gotta, you just gotta do it, guys. <laughs> you just gotta do it. Do it scared, but do it hungry. Ooh, I love that. Do it scared, but do it hungry. Put that on a quote. <laughs> I, I like that. Do it scared, but do it hungry. Do it scared, but do it hungry, man. Hey, bars. <laughs> bars. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell y'all. I, I no, sir, that's, that's, I do like that. Yeah. So, okay, now, what's the future hold for you in real estate? What do you think your year is going to look like? Man, you know, being on your team has just, I feel like it has added so much value to to me. And um, look, I'm just trying to make more than what I did in my corporate job. That's my goal. So right. that's what I'm really hoping. And not only that, to um, really impact um, people, really impact people and put myself out there. And it's really important to me. I'm Hispanic. So really important to me to educate my community. Yes. So, so yes. that's kind of my niche, and it's really important to me to educate my community and, and what's possible in this country. Absolutely. All right, guys, I just want to do an interview real quick with Priscilla. Her heart's in the right place. She's going to make it happen. She's an excellent agent. She's <laughs> she's hungry. All right, what did you say? Do it, do it scared, but do it hungry. I love that. <laughs> I love that. And so if you're a brand new agent, you're trying to figure this whole thing out, okay? Here's the deal. I'm more than happy to talk to you, but maybe you talk to another brand new agent who's actually figuring it out and is making it happen as we go, right? Priscilla's doing an excellent job. You can do an excellent job. If you want to get into the industry, you want to be a real estate agent, we're here to help you and guide you to get into this. And if you are looking to buy a home, you can catch Priscilla at... What's your phone number? <laughs> Pause there. I don't know. Okay. Okay, this is exactly what I'm talking about about me feeling self conscious and doing video. Okay, let's just put it out there. Okay. So, what's your phone number? 972 505 5594. Yeah, and she'll be more than happy to take care of you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you Bye, like, guys. share, and subscribe. Peace. Peace. <laughs>